point out that T is there, but the L function does not yet exist, which is kind of odd. Um, core hooks, I promised I would give you this data. I have two lists here. The list on the left are the core hooks that have not changed their function signature at all. Originally, I thought there was only one. Okay, I'll, I'll hook cron did not change at all either. Um, there is a cron.php, and it fires hook cron, which is fascinating. Um, these other hooks are there, but have changed either in their function name or in their function signature a little bit. Uh, hook filters changed a little bit. Um, hook search has changed a lot. Hook perm, I killed it myself with a patch to name it, name it hook permission. So, um, and I want to talk about hooks too. Um, there are 11 core hooks in Drupal 3. We now have 358. Yeah, I did a lot of code reps while I was preparing this talk. I had a lot of fun slides like this. And some people, some people, especially folks, I mean, Dries is a Java programmer for crying out loud. Object-oriented, you know, native stuff. And a lot of people come into the Drupal project and they're like, what the hell are you people doing with all these hooks? Well, you know, uh, PHP has a class structure. It has object stuff. And as anyone who knows anything about PHP will tell you, this shit didn't work until Drupal, uh, excuse me, PHP 5. Okay, so what does that mean for Drupal 3? Well, this is the lamp landscape when Drupal 3 comes out. PHP 4 is four months old and not really available except on bleeding edge machines or people doing experiments on their own workstations. The entire world's running PHP 3, right? Um, I'll show you a couple of slides about that. Um, MySQL is, 3.2.3 3, 3 is the stable. There's a 4.0 alpha no one's using. Um, Apache, both versions of Apache are actually out and pretty stable. That's good. Linux has got like three different branches that are stable. So that's kind of cool. But these first two, PHP and MySQL, so some of the core architecture stuff is based on the limitations of the language. So for example, there are no constants in Drupal 3 because the define function doesn't come into play until PHP 4. Right, we use constants all the time. There are 274 constants in Drupal 7. None in Drupal 3. So when people ask, well, why does Drupal have this hook system? The answer is because it was the closest they could come to the kind of behavior they wanted, given the limitations of the environment they were developing in, which leads me to lesson number four. And this is, if did Larry Garfield make it? Because this is the Larry slide. We are bound by our dependency. Larry is, is adamant about this issue that not enough Drupal programmers are active in the PHP world. Right? Because I was actually, remember, does anyone remember Go PHP 5? I helped start that by poking Larry with a stick. Uh, because it came out of a conversation I had with a Joomla developer uh, after hearing, uh, ra actually after hearing Dries beg Rasmus to end of life uh, PHP 4, and ra yeah, this was at Sunnyvale as well, and Rasmus said, no, the hosting community would kill me. I can't do it. You guys have to do it. And so we came up with this idea of, well, what if we just encourage everyone to drop support for PHP 4 in their next release? And everyone but WordPress went along with it. It was great. Um, but I mean, Dries is tr they're trying to write a system that'll run on shared hosts, and the tools that are available really affect what they're able to do. But that's still true today. Uh, Matt Farina, I'm gonna pick on Matt. This is one of his pet issues. He'll tell you right now that Drupal 7 won't run on shared hosting. It's great for the enterprise, but man, I don't think I'm ever, I'm running on an old, shaky, you know, shared, I'm not on a virtual host. I just have one little managed node on a big network. I don't have cloud or anything like that. And I'm probably never upgrading from Drupal 6 because I don't have to. And I probably can't. Uh, so let's go back and look at classes for a minute. Um, all that said, and now that we have 563 classes in, in, PH, in uh, Drupal 7, um, much to Chix's signature, um, there are actually 17 classes in Drupal 3 core. Right? One of them is, is node and one of them is user, which are really both not classes. They're just standard objects that are wrapped in classes and nothing interesting is ever done with them, which is kind of odd. Um, where classes are used are in the theme layer. Matt Farina actually discovered this. He's poking around Drupal 3. He's like, what the hell is going on here? Well, think about it. And, and this surprised me a great deal. Um, if you know anything about classes and methods, you can override them very, very easily. 
So you do things like say, you know, print, um, you know, page uh, method header, right? But you can write another class that will change the behavior of the header method. It's very, very easy to do. And these guys, these, these developers thought, well, we want to have sites that look kind of cool. We want to let people experiment with design. These are all core themes that ship with Drupal 3, by the way. Uh, that, I think, is Yaroon. No, that's Goofy. That's Goofy, yeah. And which one's that? I can't remember which one this is. Uh, uh, there were six core themes in Drupal 3. We only have four today. There was actually a base theme in, in Drupal 3. Um, but we have Stark now, but we had a base theme in Drupal 3. Um, and as little, some people will not believe it. I know if Steve Fisher were here, he would argue with me and say, design doesn't matter to Drupal 3, but it actually did. The, the reason themes are classes in Drupal 3 is so that themers have power. Even though there's not even a concept really of themers, but they have this notion that people are going to want to change the way things look. I mean, I mentioned that you can't change that top menu. You can, but you have to override the header class, or the header method. But they put the tool in there, and they wrote it to be as easy as possible for the design community. Um, turned out the design community didn't like it, <laughs> right? And we went through a couple of different iterations on what templating would look like, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I'm going to check time. We're doing pretty well. Um, this is a list of Drupal 3 modules. Uh, I will point out the things that I italicized are, are gone. Yeah. 